and names like GameStop and AMC. Joining us now in a first on CNBC interview, Interactive Brokers Chairman and Founder Thomas Petterfee. Thomas, thank you for joining us. It's great to have you on a day like today to help clarify what is, what is going on. So explain to us, to our audience, why you have decided, like Robinhood, to restrict trading in shares of these companies like GameStop and AMC. So simply put, we are worried about the integrity of the marketplace and the clearing system. Uh, this is a new scenario in which fundamental values do not matter. Stocks that are worth single digit dollars go to several hundred dollars. For example, game today uh, jumped up and down hundreds of dollars at a time. We are concerned about the ability of the market and the clearing systems to withdraw the onslaught of orders to continue to provide liquidity. And we are concerned about the financial viability of intermediaries and the clearing houses. Now, I, I hope that your uh, audience can follow this. For every option trade, there's a buyer and a seller. There are as many long options as there are short options. So when the stock moves either way, some options make money they, on one side and the other, and the other side, they lose money. The broker stands between his customers and the clearing house. So when the, some option holders make money, the clearing house has to give us the money to give it to our customers, while other option holders, sellers or buyers on their own side lose money. We have to collect money from them and give it to the clearing house. If we are unable, if our customers are unable to pay for their losses, we have to put up our own money. Now, luckily enough, right. we have nine billion dollars of equity, so we don't have a problem. And we also have a, a very well automated risk management system, so we haven't really gotten hurt. However, I cannot say the same thing with full confidence about other brokers. I really don't know where they stand, so, so I'm extremely concerned. As game moved from $17 to $500, there are roughly uh, 20, uh, there are roughly 3 million contracts outstanding in the options market. If one of those options is worth, say, an average option, I estimate worth about $10,000 now, so that is a loss of roughly 10 to $15 billion on the one side and 10 to $15 billion of gain on the other. I'm afraid that so there I may just be wanna... brokers who may not be able to meet these margin calls. So that is the... So just, just to be clear, you're worried about the middlemen. Are, are you doing this move to protect yourself or to protect your customers? Partly to protect ourselves, but mostly to protect, of course, to protect our customers, but most of all to protect the marketplace, to protect the clearinghouse. So if there are 10 to $15 billion of losses in there, mm -hmm. somebody has to pay them. Will they be able to pay it is the big question. Th Thomas, um, do, do you understand people's anger, your customers' uh, anger, given that Essentially, you, you changed the rules of the game right in the middle of the match, at the most important moment in the match. Even if your terms uh, and conditions allow you to do that, do you understand their anger that you changed the terms of trade for them uh, just as things were getting heated up? I do, but when you say right in the middle of the game, then you're saying as the squeeze is going on, stronger and stronger. But that's illegal. That's manipulative. So it's, it, it cannot be done. So, so, As, so do you think... So I think somewhat responsible for what our customers are doing. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.